Better home now. Ever look for some new hardware for your cabinets or doors, but you just don't know what to go with? We have the perfect place to find whatever you're looking for. Connecticut Lighting Centers does more than brighten up your home. And here to tell us about what else they have is Todd Director. So, Todd, in front of us right now, there's a lot of decorative hardware, as we mentioned, that you guys offer. There, there is. You know, um, we, we got into the hardware business about three years ago, and primarily what we were finding was homeowners didn't really have a lot of places to go to see a lot of assortment with service. So really we've... Service we've, is the key. Service mm -hmm. is the key. Um, a lot of people had no, a lot of people that walk in today have no idea that you can, for $15, get a new doorknob and have one finish, have bronze on one side and satin nickel on the other side. Because how many times does your bathroom have one finish and yeah. the hallway has a different finish? That's a good point. And some of us don't even know what different finishes there are. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so many times we're seeing people are, they're spending all this money on a new bathroom but they're leaving a brass doorknob on the bathroom. So it's like, you know, it's pretty unbelievable, but you think about it and it's so common and more or less it's because somebody never suggested to them, you know mm -hmm. what, did you know for, you know, a very reasonable amount mm -hmm. of money, you can change it and not only you can have whatever you want. It really changes the look too. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, and aside from just door hardware, cabinet hardware, it's such a big category. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, one of the things we found when we went to the cabinet hardware business was you go into many places to buy cabinet hardware, and you see all these boards, and you have no idea what the stuff cost. So we have dollar. Sometimes I wonder if that's intentional. Um, oh, of well, course. So you fall in love with something <laughs> yep. and realize, oh my goodness, it's going to break the bank. So, so we've actually it's a it's a pain because you have to do it by hand. But mm -hmm. we actually price every single piece of hardware in fifteen hundred square feet of showroom. So every six months to a year, when prices change, takes the guesswork out of it. it exactly. So yep. you know. You know what? But we have a lot of people who are updating a kitchen and they say, you know what? I wasn't going to do the knobs, but for a dollar fifty a knob, I'll do right. the knobs. And it certainly so. does change the look. It also can create an outdated look depending on how old those knobs are. So mm. what are some of the newest trends? It seems to me that the, the, the brushed, what is it, nickel the or the silver yeah. look is yeah. in now. It is. You know, um, the, the main finishes we're seeing, especially in the, in the New England region, are bra um, bronze and satin nickel. Mm, um, they're okay. still the two top finishes. Polished nickel is really coming around and then you'll also see some some of that soft gold. So I'm not going to say antique brass or polished brass, mm -hmm. but it's almost like a, a a new finish that was kind of created by the plumbing industry and it's like that soft gold that we are seeing. Do, do I think it'll ever be huge? I, I don't really know. It's hard I, to I agree. Tell. Yeah. But, but I've um, never seen that finish. It's called soft gold. It's it's like a soft. I I call it a soft gold. Mm. Um, every single manufacturer's got a different name for well, it. Well, sometimes if you say satin, brass, it turns some it's people really, off. What, what we exactly. hear most of the time is satin brass. Okay. But it's a cool look. Whatever you it want to call it. It absolutely is. What about some of these new uh, newfangled so, door openers? Yeah, I love <laughs> so, that. So what what those are is um there are two different styles of keyless entry. One is by Schlage, and the the one by Schlage is actually um. It's got a keypad on the front of it, so you basically can put in a combination. It can go up to 26 combinations, as well as it works off a phone app. So if somebody that you weren't expecting goes by your house, maybe a cleaning woman, a dog walker, and you want to get them into your house without giving them the code that you use, you can text uh, them a code. So, it's kind of like the valet key for your car. Absolutely. It doesn't necessarily yeah. open up everything. Um, I love this idea because for folks like myself who constantly lose the the key. Uh, sure. I'm always looking for it. Right. As long as you have the code, you can get in. But what happens if there's no power and that's not working? Is there still a key oh, available? Are, well, absolutely. Yes, there, there's definitely a key slot on that one. Okay. There's, there is all different types. Schlage has another unit with no key slot, but it has a 9-volt battery override. So we sell that as well. You actually stick a 9-volt battery on there, and that's what powers it up if the batteries do die. Now, you get about you get about a three-month <laughs> notice, and it blinks red for about three months to tell you the batteries okay. are You better pay so. attention and, yeah. and have Absolutely. a nine-volt on you. Don't um, wait around for that. This unit by Baldwin, it's brand yeah. new. Th this works off Bluetooth. So what happens is it, you get in a certain proximity of the door, and it automatically opens because it senses your phone or a key fob. But the, the, really, the push behind Baldwin going to this was so many people were saying, you know, I love it for the convenience, but I just can't stand looking at a keypad mm. on my front door. So the reason why they okay. went to that type of technology, so if I just go over and I touch the front of it, this will automatically oh, so that's the front. retract. Okay. So it, it recognizes my phone, and the second I go up to it, and then if I want to lock it, I'm going to 
just basically so you just tap, tap it. it. Okay. You, you just get right up to mm -hmm. it. Now, what happens if every member of the family has a different phone? Can it all be set for the same phone? It, it absolutely can. Yeah, you're gonna. It, again, it's app based, so mm. through through the Bluetooth, you can have multiple people. Recognize. That or is key the future fobs. right there. That is or key fobs, exactly. And, we're gonna and have we're you seeing, back in ten years, everybody's gonna have these yeah, things. Absolutely. Yeah, things are things are changing quick. They're so convenient. Absolutely. It's really what you need. So for more information, where do we go? www.ctlighting.com. Easy enough. And do we need a specialist to put those in? Absolutely absolutely not. I mean, believe it, my wife's my wife installed ours, so yeah. I think my mom installed it's no ours kidding. at a my parents. So. So, so there's hope for even guys like <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Todd.